when we started working together nine or ten years ago, I think. Almost ten years you ago. You said you thought we were 20 years from making a human yeah. level AGI. So that, that would mean now we're ten years from making a human level AGI. Do, yeah. do you still stand by your estimate? Yeah, I stand. I stand yeah. by it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do you think are the main obstacles we have to overcome to get there from here? It's hard to say the main, the main obstacle. Now, the, the obstacles I can think of, well, first, th there, there is, uh, uh, like, computational power is an obstacle because, yeah. especially when, when you start doing uh, meta-learning experiments, because you, you need to, before you can start learning how to learn, well, you need to solve thousand you have Perhaps. to do a lot of learning first. Right? Yes, so yes. You, you got it just like a baby. And, and, uh, and then, uh, you know, like, some, some researchers say that you can have an, an AGI on a, um, a, a f f um, 4, 486 PC or something. Uh, Marvin I mean, Minsky I, I, made that uh, statement. Yes, yes. Yeah. And it, it might be true, but the thing is that you can only yeah, have that. It, it would take eight billion years to learn how to think. Exactly. Because Minsky was focused exactly. very much on a kind of expert rule-based system. He never quite embraced learning as the core foundation of a, of a, of a thinking machine. Yeah. And mm -hmm. yeah n now the pendulum is swung the opposite direction and everyone sees learning on huge amounts of data as, as the core yeah. aspect. Of course, the work we're doing with Hanson Robotics, if that's successful from a business standpoint, it will result in a huge amount of robots around the world running on a, a mind cloud. And so that's a lot of data and a lot of processing power to help with learning. So whether it's Hanson Robotics and or you know, apps on people's phones or whatever it is. I think that's actually a place that commercial deployments of OpenCog, if they're done in the right way, mm -hmm. could be really helpful because yeah, that, sure. that, that, that will pay for a lot of people to yeah. Yeah. Use, use the, use the and, and AI in this case and again, a lot of learning. You, yeah. you, you need a tremendous amount of uh, computational power yeah. Yeah. Right. To, right. to absorb all. All these data. Mm -hmm. that, does get, that does get cheaper and cheaper. Yeah. 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 So, so that is one of the obstacle. The other obstacle is, uh, I mean, it, it, it's it's tied to this one, in fact, because it, it is what we're constantly trying to do is find the right compromise between um, something that is general enough, but um, that is tractable. And like the 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 more computational power you have at your dispo dis disposal, uh, the easier this trade this trade up becomes. True, although I, I sort of feel like differences of an order of magnitude or two yeah, in computational power might actually not affect your core algorithmic yeah. choices. Because I mean, most of this is about. Do you have the conceptually right yeah. framework for pruning down exponential combinatorial Yeah, yes, and to, exactly. To a certain extent, yeah, you know, so either, either, either you do or you don't, right? Like, like yes, yes, I logical, see logical inference without some sort of experience-based pruning yeah. won't work even if you have a million times more computational power. Now, true, the more compute power you need, the less clever your experience-based proving yeah. need, need, needs to get, but still the, there's a certain basic foundation of yeah. scalable learning and reasoning yeah, through, yes. through cognitive synergy if it's being done yeah. in open cog, and you have to have that or it won't work even if you wait 50 more years for a few orders of magnitude yeah, yeah, more yeah. computing power. I mean, when I experiment, I, I, I always find this kind of a, a, a re recurrent uh, pattern, which is that I just assume that I have a lot of computational power. I don't really bother. I just I launch many experiments, uh, you know, possibly wait a few hours, collect yeah. the results. And OK, I do that because I can do it, because I have enough computational yeah. power. As soon as I, I say, OK, now I'm going to try on a harder problem, then I see I can't do that. Then I have to stop thinking. And I see that I could have 
divided by a thousand, yeah. you know, my, yeah. my previous experiment. Right. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but it's, it, it is, I mean, um, it, it shows that even when you have the, the, the right conceptual framework, when you are, you know, in practice, you are just so very often, uh, you know, banging your head against the, yeah. So another question related to that is, once we get to human level AI, how big a task do you think it is to get to massively superhuman AGI? Do you think then we hit a sort of girdle machine type regime where the human level AI just yeah. analyzes its own code and modifies it and rewrites it and you have much it's faster It's interesting progress? because it depends on the environment, yeah. right? And uh, it's like if, if you transform the environment to be so much more complex as measure as you're building an AGI, yeah. like the answer is not obvious. On the other hand, it, I mean, a simple reasoning can, can can let you believe that if you have a human level AGI, well, then you just just multiply the computational power. And, yeah. and I also but, think the algorithms we come up with they have so many compromises and, and approximations yeah. in them. It, 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 would, it would seem like an AGI reasoning engine, if it put a lot of effort into it, can unhack a lot of things at various levels, put into even a really good AI system and boost, boost its intelligence a number of times, even within the same basic framework. So I, I guess the real question, though, is after that's done, Will the AGI just come with wholesale better approach to intelligence, right? I think so. Different sort of framework, different I set of I certainly think so. I, I would know, be shocked if it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I think yeah. actually that by the time we have a human level AGI, yeah. we'll have, we'll, we'll just be able to say that it's human level because it's as good as human over everything, but it's, it's, it will be at least as good over so many things, it will be just, you know, Strictly better, yeah. A and uh, well, if computer science is one of the things it's strictly better at, yeah, then it's going to be increasing its gap in in computer science yeah. by improving its. I mean, e even yeah. like common sense reasoning, I I if you have something which is based on, um, well, you know, something. Yeah, like the cliche says common sense is not that common, right? I mean. We fuck up our lives all the time by yeah, it's, emotional yeah, factors yeah, yeah. leading us not to have yeah, what yeah. is called common sense. I mean, and, so, and, and our, yeah. our common sense reasoning is very inaccurate. It's yeah. extremely inaccurate. Sure. So if you can just beat that, you get something which is going to be just incredibly more efficient. Yeah. Than, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So do you want to merge your brain with that thing? I mean, why it has to be my brain? I mean, it's because I want you to be a test case before I try mine, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the thing is. No, I, I mean, uh, just for the experience, basically. I mean, yeah. Because wouldn't it be but, cool but I mean, to be integrated it, it, with a superhuman theorem prover and, yeah. and to have so, sensors so all over the planet it, and so on? So, like, when you say merge, like, do you mean, say, having a circuit inside my yeah. brain that would be that would have a Wi-Fi inside and and hopefully that faster bandwidth but yeah yeah the uber Wi-Fi yeah, yeah. yeah inputs outputs connected yeah but, the but then your brain would reshape itself based on that it connection well oh, just like yeah. it's reshaping itself if you had the new sensor organ it would get yes, like, an yes. a, like an AI, I mean just, AI module of your cortex just using right? the internet just using yeah. the internet well it would be much more so if it was at the, the yeah, power yeah. of thought I sure think. yeah I mean it's the answer is I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I, uh, what yeah. if you could create a clone of yourself and have that clone merge in with the AI like that? I mean, that's going to happen. This yeah. is, um, yeah. well, whether it's useful or not, I mean, eventually. In a sense, it's not useful yeah. because AI in its own will go beyond what humans yeah. can do. It's exactly. useful in the sense of personal growth and personal experience. Right? Yeah. Yeah.
I'd better go off to this meeting. Relating, but first, relating back to what you're, That's the fourth track that you were on before, and that is no, what... No, no, can continue. What aspects of AI yeah, no, do you no. think will yeah, no, shoot no, off? No, I mean, no, already no. you can say that some no, forms no, of AGI are, or some no, forms of normal no, narrow no, AI are, are vastly no, superior no, to human. No. Some forms of normal no, com no, computation no, are, are just so much faster no, than, no, than no, human no, thought, no, um, no, and more productive and less error. Yeah. So, it's what aspects of artificial chat, general yeah, intelligence talking, programming uh, do you think, if you get, if an AI gets to superhuman or just yeah. a normal human level, will yeah. shoot off quicker than the rest? Yeah. Well, that's very hard to say. I mean, I, I would say, I would say common reasoning actually. Common reasoning. Yeah. I, I, I feel that this is really, this is kind of the last. I mean, this is pretty much the last stuff humans are are still better at than machines, and but like if if you if you look into it, you realize that we're just not that good at it anyway, and so yeah. It, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, we're, we're not able to reason with many variables as soon as it becomes a bit too complex. Um, we're, not, we're just not able to, to handle that much complexity. And, uh, yeah. So, reasoning, so you uh, believe that reasoning would sh uh, shoot off a lot quicker than humans' um, ability to reason. So, once we get level with human, and AI's reasoning ability will uh, fire off a lot quicker than other unexpected I, it, it, areas. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, I don't know, but um, I can, I can think it, it would be the case. Well, that'd be awesome. I mean, like, think of it. If there's so many problems which we can't solve because of our lack of reasoning ability, then um, I guess a whole suite of new problems then become accessible to our solving. Yeah. And so, like, you've heard of IJ Good, right? Uh, I.J. Good, who quoted um, uh, the last, uh, like AI, maybe the last uh, um, uh, super oh, intelligent, yeah, 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 maybe the last machine or invention we need ever make. So, yeah. since he may be right, if what you're saying is correct, that's what I'd ask you to help with. Yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, then there, there, there are there are the arguments saying that human intuition. Mm. Is would be hard to right to surpass, and it's um, yeah. I mean, do you think so? I don't think so. I, I think it is overrated. But mm. with intuition, it's really just approximations. But they've been tested for what hundreds of millions of years yes. in our ancestors. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so they've stood the test of time and they exist yes. in many different organisms, really a lot of them too. Yeah. So that it's got that going yeah. for it. Um, I've heard others suggest that some of the jobs that humans may be um, best at in an era of like intelligent machines may be ones that involve empathy and some forms yeah. of um, communicative intuition, yeah. uh, being social, looking after children, teaching maybe, yeah. at least aspects of it anyway, but all in all, push comes to shove enough time, there, yeah. well, I think, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. they are people, yeah. I guess you, you would agree. Yeah, absolutely. What, what do you think will be the last forms of jobs, what last forms of um, value that humans can bring to um, civilization a co in a cost competitive way I mean like in an economical way yeah, yeah in an, I mean the economy is, is radically going to change I mean, it's, uh, then I don't know there are first there is the short term changes and the long term changes I mean the short term changes we can we can do some some guesses, but the long-term changes, it's like, it's too hard, I mean, we don't know where it's going to go, but for the short-term changes, I, I mean, it's clear that all this technology is going to, is going to be able to feed everybody, 
mm. going to be able to. Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, so that's so right. Right. Uh, the so technology, if used in the right way, may be used for the purpose of um, supporting them. So, so, so then the, the question is, like, how humans are, are what roles are they going to assign to themselves? And um, it's, it's kind of a, I mean, it, it's, it's a mystery almost because it's like anticipating what the, uh, you know, the, the new generation is going to do with the tools inventing by the previous generation, and they, they, they often, yeah, they, it's hard to anticipate, so, yeah, it's hard to tell, but my hope is that, um, that my hope really is that it, it, it would help to, um, to unleash the creative potential of people, more so than when you are in a society where you really have to struggle to to just uh, live a, a, comfort, a comfortable life. Um, and yeah, it's, but whether it's going to be the case or it's going to be um, something uh, completely different, positively or negatively, it's, it's, it's hard to tell. I mean, it's, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, and then you, you, you you get all the potentials for like what Ben said, uh, merging the machine. Oh yes. Yeah. And so, like, are humans willing and ready to to merge, literally speaking, with the machine? Mm. Per perhaps yes in some ways, no in other ways. I mean, we already we we are already merging with the machines. We with our widgets and, and, and all our, yeah, constant use of computational power. Um, yeah, so I, I, per, perhaps it, it's, it's a question which is more abstract than people imagine.